Hi, my name is Shaki Huen from Montgomery County Community College, and I'm here today to interview Professor Tom Kolsky about his presidential campaign. Two, after the October crisis, when the Americans pledged to leave us in peace and without fear of invasion, when the Soviets planned to leave us additional means of defensive capabilities after their withdrawal, they both lied to us. For their own selfish interests, Cuba was used and so despite the rhetoric and the politics of socialization, Cuba realized that its viability rests upon that very principle of self-determination. So, Professor, if you were to run for this election, what party would you run for? Well, I'm running now as an independent on the American Preservative Party, which is really part of my course. I'm doing a course on the election, and as part of the course, I'm running for president on that party ticket. It's neither Republican nor Democratic. It's a party that seeks to unite the American people and take us away from the gridlock and lead us toward more effective politics and a greater sense of community in America. Are there any specific changes that you will bring forth to our country? Well, I, I'm trying to uh, encourage more education, uh, more imaginative educational processes. I'm trying to uh, make sure that our taxation system is much fairer. I'm trying to institute various uh, systems of uh, uh, foreign policy improvement, for example, I'm, I'm trying to begin a, a major initiative for peace in the Middle East. Uh, I would like to create uh, centers for young people and old people getting together to uh, generate uh, community. I'm asking for the creation of a, of a national service where more American young people can be involved in doing things for America. In general, the message is that we need to be more united as a nation. We need to do more things uh, together. We need to do more things to uh, make us uh, stronger as a community, uh, both uh, intellectually, financially, socially, and in terms of health. What uh, influence do you think the military-industrial complex has on American foreign policy today? Is it a problem? And if it is, uh, what do you do about it? I think that the best course of action might be to try to uh, civilianize uh, that, that uh, uh, research uh, and uh, try to produce uh, truly useful products rather than single-use products. Industrial, military industrial complex also is very much tied in with the American politics, obviously. We just heard lately one of our opponents mentioned that he wants to increase military spending by another two trillion dollars over ten years. The basic purpose of this exercise is to stimulate interest uh, in the election. That's why I created a 14-point program, uh, which is a bit different from the platform of the uh, regular parties, because the regular parties don't dare to deal with any real innovation. They are all posturing, basically. I'm not posturing. I'm asking in my platform for 14 major initiatives, which together, I think, will create a more secure and more prosperous and a better America. This is Jackie Huen from Buzz Update at Montgomery County Community College. Enough sunlight? Did you take that one too?